us that he was probably startled by the earthquake. He had been sleeping, had been asleep since 11 o'clock, according to his brother, and accidentally jumped through the window. The main quake was followed by at least two strong aftershocks. The first aftershock at about 1.45 this morning, the second aftershock just before 9 a.m. Anna? Tony, a question came to mind for me and a lot of the reporters here, and that was a question about a man who said that he had a device that could predict uh, earthquakes, the Qunometer. We have one right here. Stay with us. I want to move that in so people can get a look at it. We've done stories about this. Tony has done them, explaining uh, how this works. But a scientist created this device and basically said that it would beep periodically. Let's see if I can make it beep for you uh, to, to indicate seismic activity. Tony, did you hear from Keith Morin about this device? Funny you should mention that. Uh, that's the, the cunometer, by the way, is a device that uh, Pete, Pete Wilson uh, referred to as uh, 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 looking like a cheap prop from an even cheaper science fiction movie. <laughs> um, I, uh, I'm sorry to remind you that. Pete. Um, <laughs> I hadn't heard from Keith for months, and indeed my cunometer, the one that I have in my house in, uh, in the Santa Cruz Mountains, has been very, very quiet, dead quiet for months. It started acting up again just before a very small quake we had a couple of days ago, and it was quite active over the past couple of days. And last night, Keith Morin called me at home and said, keep an eye on the cunometer. I think things are going to start going up again. And the quake hit at um, just after 1 o'clock. Incidentally, let me correct something. The cunometer does not predict earthquakes. The cunometer is something that Keith Morin in, uh, came up with because he believes it, uh, it can pick up uh, subsonic audio frequencies that may be produced in the ground by pressure created by rocks just before an earthquake. It's not an earthquake prediction device, but he thinks there might be some activity, some sub-audio activity that's related to pre-earthquake activity. He's still working on that. Well, was he quite certain when he talked with you last night that there was going to be some seismic activity? No, of course not. Uh, no, one, no one can really be uh, certain. Even the, uh, the earthquake prediction people at, at USGS, um, they're, they're saying that uh, the, this quake may be a foreshock of a larger quake, but they're giving that only a 20% probability. So we talk here in terms of probability, like, like weather forecasts. Okay, thanks, Tony. That's why we hold it out.